Our video tutorial is about finding the derivative of a function using the definition of a derivative. The definition of a derivative a prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches 0. For example, find the derivative of f of x equals x cubed plus 2x by the limit process. Starting with the definition of the derivative, We replace x with x plus delta x. And so with this one, it's replaced with x plus delta x minus the original function. Our original function is this one. Then simplify. We are familiar with the uh, raising to powers of a binomials, the cube of a binomial. These are the terms. So, apply it here. Then 2 is distributed in its term. Remove the parentheses, changing the sign of its term. After that, and combine similar terms. Notice that in its term, common factor is delta x. So, factor out common delta x and cancel out common factor. This is now the simplified form of the function. We can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 or replace delta x with 0. Then simplify. So, the derivative a prime of x is 3x squared plus 2. Next example, find the derivative of f of x equals square root of x. Starting with the definition of derivative, we replace x with x plus delta x. This x is replaced with x plus delta x minus the original function f of x all over delta x. Then, rationalize the function or the fraction by multiplying the numerator by its conjugate. So, this is negative, this is positive, and this value is equal to 1. Multiplying the numerator, we are like multiplying sum and difference of two binomials. Supposing these are the two binomials, we multiply then this is the product so apply it here then combine similar terms cancel out common factor on both numerator and denominator so this is now the simplified form we can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 or replace delta x with 0 then simplify Combine similar terms, so this is now the derivative of this function. Its derivative is 1 over 2 square root of x. Next example. Find the derivative with respect to t of the function y equals 2 over t. So, starting again with the definition of the derivative, our function, y is a function of t, equals 2 over t. So, f prime of t equals dy dt, another term notation for derivative. Replace t with t plus delta t. This is the same as the definition of the derivative. So, dy dt, t is replaced with t plus delta t minus the original, original function, 2 over t all over delta t as delta t approaches 0. Perform the operation of the numerator. The LCD is t times t plus delta t. Then uh, simplify. Combine similar terms. This one, perform the operation of 
complex fraction. Then cancel out common factors in both numerator and denominator. This time we can evaluate the limit of this function as delta t approaches 0. So substitute delta t with 0 and simplify so our derivative is dy dt equals negative 2 over t square. Next example, use the definition of the derivative to find a prime of x of this function f of x equals 1 over x minus 1. Starting again with the definition of the derivative, we replace x with x plus delta x. So the x is replaced with x plus delta x minus the original function. Then simplify, perform the operation on the numerator. The LCD is these two denominators. Then combine similar terms. This is now the simplified form of the fraction. Perform the operation of this complex fraction. Um, uh, cancel out common factor. So this is now more sim uh, in simplest form. We can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0. So replace delta x with 0. Then simplify and uh, derivative is a prime of x is equal to 1 over quantity x minus 1 is square. Next example, find the derivative with respect to x for the function y equals 4 minus 5x all over 3 plus 2x. So starting again with the definition of the derivative, we replace x. This x is replaced with x plus delta x. And so with this denominator, x is replaced with x plus delta x. Minus the original function, this is our original function, all over delta x. Perform the operation on the numerator. Okay, the LCD is, uh, the less common denominator is these denominators. So, simplifying, performing the operation. And remove parentheses. Distribute the terms up in multiplication. Remove parentheses. Combine similar terms. And remove parentheses. Then similar terms are combined. If they are in the opposite sign, they are cancelled. Then similar terms is also present. We combine them and perform the operation on in this complex fraction. So cancel out the common factor in both numerator and denominator. So this is now in its simplest form. We can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 or as substitute delta x with 0. And simplify. So this is now the derivative. dy dx equals negative 23 over quantity 3 plus 2x squared. Use the definition of the derivative to find a prime of x of this function. 1 over square root of 3 minus 2x. So starting with the definition of the derivative, we replace x with x plus delta x minus the original function. This is the original function. Perform the operation of these fractions. The LCD are the denominators. The denominators combine as 1. Then simplify. Uh, 
multiply the numerator by the con by in other words rationalize the numerator by multiplying this numerator by its conjugate if this is negative this is positive so we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by uh, a ratio equal to one and the numerators are multiplied as if they are sum and difference of two binomials so we multiply okay this is not the product remove parenthesis by changing the sign in its terms and combine similar terms if they are opposite cancel out so this is now the, the simplified form of the fraction we perform the operation of this fraction the divisor delta x uh, division becomes multiplication but the, the divisor delta x becomes inverse then cancel out common factor cancel out then simplify now this is now the simplified form and we can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 substitute delta x with 0 and simplify take note that this uh, denominators are quite similar so we operate them we multiply by following the law of exponent so here is the exponent okay. 2 plus 1 is 3 so cancel out common factor so the derivative is a prime of x equals 1 over square root of 3 minus 2x quantity 3 minus 2x cube next example use the definition of derivative to find a prime of x of square root of x minus 4 starting again with the definition of the derivative replace x with x plus delta x minus the original function this is the original function rationalize the numerator rationalize the fraction by multiplying the conjugate of the numerator this is negative this is positive so we are multiplying some difference of two of two binomials then remove parenthesis combine similar terms cancel out if they are opposite sign cancel out again the common factor of in both numerator and denominator so that we have the simplest form of the fraction we can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 so substitute delta x with 0 and simplify so our derivative a prime of x is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x minus 4 Next, use the definition of the derivative to find f prime of x of f of x equals cube root of x. So starting with the definition of the derivative, we replace x with x plus delta x minus the original function is cube root of x. We are familiar with the difference of two cubes and its factors. So, factoring this difference of two cubes, x minus y times square of the first term, if this is minus, this is plus, product of the terms plus square of the second term, we apply it here. This it corresponds to x and this is y. Multiply it with this term. 
which is taken from this term of the binomial square this one is square and square also of the second term this is the middle term x y so the product of this numerator is this one the difference of two cubes so this is cube root of a binomial raised to the third power so in simplest form we simplify this one raising to, power, to the third power of a cube root so this is the simplified form and combine like terms and cancel out what is common on both numerator and denominator so this is now the simplest form of the fraction. We can now evaluate the limit of this function as delta x approaches 0 or substitute delta x with 0. Simplify. Combine similar terms. So the, the derivative a prime of x is equal to 1 over 3 cube root of x squared. So that's enough.